Welcome to Red Hat Performance Tuning. It's a training course called as RH442, delivered by Red Hat Corporation. My name is Shaker. I'm calling from uh, Focus Training Services, uh, which is a Red Hat partner based in Pune. What exactly is performance tuning? Many people have some different understanding or vague understanding about this topic. I'm just gonna define what performance tuning is from my point of view. It is sometimes called as a black art due to the arcane knowledge required to tune the system. I consider this as an art than science. There are no set of rules. If you follow those rules, suddenly the performance would increase. You always have to view at the performance tuning problem from a holistic point of view and some of the rules may work sometimes and some of the rules may not work sometimes and that's why I call it as an art than science. It is also called as a tailoring job. It means no one size fits all. Always the solution to the performance tuning problem is different for different situations. And that's why you need to again look at it from a holistic point of view and always try to use different mechanisms for increasing the performance. I consider it is a process of making sure that the adequate computing resources are made available to accomplish the business needs. And what are the adequate computing resources is always going to differ from situation to situation. Certain situations will require the RAM to be eight gigabytes and the performance will be absolutely fine. And certain situations, even 164 gigabytes of RAM may not be enough. And that's why adequate, what is adequate is very difficult to define. That is what I consider as performance tuning. There are four subsystems of Linux and these four systems can be highly categorized or broadly categorized into CPU subsystem, memory subsystem, storage subsystem and a network subsystem. These are the four subsystems that we're gonna focus on in this entire training course from a various different angles. And when we look at this subsystem, we will always find answers in tweaking those subsystems and figuring out what the problem is. Let me talk a little bit about this course, RH442. This course, the training is delivered by Red Hat. The faculty is a certified training faculty from Red Hat India. And this individual will deliver the training at our premises here at Focus Training Services in Pune. The course is designed specifically for Linux system administrators. Some of the people who come from the kernel development or also from the device driver development, they can also get benefited from this course. But mainly the target audience is Linux system administrators. Database system administrators can also become a target because many of the Oracle or Sybase or DB2 administrators, they need to have a very strong understanding or even the, even the SAP uh, basis people, they need to have very strong understanding of the Linux performance tuning and they can get benefited because of this. So students or candidates who are Linux system administrators with experience in Linux systems, preferably the Red Hat Linux are the ones who will benefit more. Obviously, anybody who is a fresher will not get too much of benefit from the system. You should be working in the Linux system for at least three to four years. That is what we think uh, is, is the minimum knowledge required for this thing. And as I already mentioned, Linux system programmers, C programmers, they are also somebody who will get benefited because of this. Mostly the target audience is Red Hat certified engine, uh, administrators who are working on the Linux system for a long time. What is the objective of this course? To implement open source tools to profile the memory, to profile the CPU subsystem, to profile the network subsystem and other subsystems that we had already mentioned. Then you will learn how to tune the systems to certain specific workloads. There are workloads for high power computing, then there are workloads which require large memory, large RAM, then there are certain workloads which require uh, which are specifically designed for database servers, 
workloads for file servers, etc., etc. So if you are running your Linux server as a database server, then the requirements for RAM, requirements for the memory, requirements for networking are different than if you are running your server as a web server or as a file server. So we need to understand what the workload requirement is and based on that we're going to uh, design the system. The next point here is you're going to tune subsystems based on the monitoring and the tuning analysis. So you will learn how to monitor the performance and then you will learn how to analyze that data that we have collected during the monitoring phase and then do the performance tuning. So it is very, very critical to do the monitoring and then analyze the data that we have collected during the monitoring system. Then to tune the virtual machines. We are also going to learn how to tune the virtual machines, the host system and the guest system. These days data centers are crowded with virtual machines and it is very, very critical for a Linux administrator to understand how to tweak the host and how to tweak the guest so that we can deliver the best performance. The next point here is the objective of this course RH422 is to understand the hardware and the design limitations on the performance of the system. There are always certain limitations, either the hardware limitations or the design limitations, and we will understand these limitations, which will tell us that whatever we do may not increase our performance, and therefore the only solution could be to go with the clustering solution, to go with the, uh, the higher hardware, and design your system in a totally different way. So that are the limitations that we can understand. And then we are going to understand what is called as a queuing theory, which is the most important tuning concept for understanding the performance tuning issues. Queuing theory is very, very critical, and we're going to learn that also. Now, this diagram talks about what performance tuning is. I have shown you different subsystems here. I'm not going to go into the details of this diagram, but you can see the basic Linux kernels. In that Linux kernel uh, section, you can see the device drivers, the block device interfaces, the LVM, the, the file systems, which are EXT3, EXT4, the ZFS file system, the VFS file system. That is one part of it. Then you see the network part there, where you see from the bottom to top, Ethernet, IP, TCP, UDP, sockets, all the network part there. And then you see the memory part there, which is the virtual memory and the scheduler. Scheduler is basically, again, related to CPU. So CPU, memory, network, and, and the disk. This is all about what we are going to learn, how to tweak all these subsystems, how to tweak the I.O. controller so that the disk performance is better, how to tweak the network controller so that the traffic is managed in a very nice fashion. All these things we are going to talk about. And therefore, if you look at the top part of it, then it says, what are those applications? Is the application a file system? Is the application a database server? Is the application a web server? All those applications will be tweaked accordingly, and this is what I consider as the, the fundamental diagram which helps us understand the fundamentals of performance tuning. Here. Now here, we're going to learn about a lot of profiling tools. As you can see, on the bottom left there, I have mentioned about IOSTAT, I have mentioned about IOTOP, I have mentioned about block trace, dtrace, these are the tools, these are the commands that we're going to learn in detail to decide and profile the current existing performance of the block devices. Similarly, on the right hand side you will see things like TCP dump, IP, NIC stat, dtrace, these are all the profiling tools that we're going to learn, dstat, these are all the tools, top command, PID stat, MP stat, prep, uh, perf, net stat, S trace. There are a bunch of tools that you have to know to understand and find out the existing performance of your system so that you can collect the statistics and then you can tweak them and make your performance the best. So what are in summary the topics that will be discussed in this course? Uh, I'm just outlining the the headings of different chapters, introduction to performance tuning. The second one will be collecting and graphing the data. We will learn how to do the graphing of the collected data which we have collected using all the tools that I just mentioned in the previous slide. Then general tuning methodology, limiting resource usage, 
where we will learn what kind of limits are going to hinder the performance. We're going to do hardware profiling. We're going to do software profiling. Both of them, they will decide what kind of performance is currently being running, uh, currently being happening on the system. Then we're going to learn about a tool called a system tap. And continuing to the next one, based on the workload, if the server is a mail server, we're going to learn how to tune that mail server. If the, uh, if the server is going to require large memory workload, which is usually the database kind of server, then we're going to learn in chapter number nine how to tune that. CPU intensive workload, which are high performance computing clusters. So how are we going to uh, tune those things? Then file server tuning, database server tuning, and lastly, power usage tuning. Power usage takes tremendous amount of, amount of resources. We're going to learn about power usage tuning, which is very critical. And last but not least, the most important topic is the virtualization tuning. And that is where we actually end our entire course. The course details are as follows. It is a five day course starting from eight o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the evening, continuously from Monday till Friday. The location is in Pune, India. For fees, you need to call us and uh, we will tell you a lot about fees, but uh, I just need to mention one thing about the fees. Since the course is designed for the professionals who are already working in the industry who are ready to accept a lot of knowledge in the five days, those are the guys who should contact us and we will talk a lot about fees and there are different uh, different discount plans available uh, with our uh, counseling department. The faculty will come from the Red Hat Corporation itself at our premises and will deliver. The course type is, as I said, it is theory plus hands-on practicals. You will be actually given one system and you will be working on that. And that's all I need to tell you. So uh, please contact us at this number. W, uh, www at foc uh, focus training .in is our website. You can also go to our blog, which is Linux dot focus training dot in, and our phone number is in Pune three zero two four three 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 or three zero two four three 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 four. So thanks a lot for your timing. Uh, I think if you are interested, if you want to make your career in Linux administration, this is the course that you must you must attend. It will take your career to the next level. Thanks a lot.